What's up guys, my name is Luca and today I'm gonna give you 6 tips to shoot better videos at home. So yesterday I was brainstorming ideas uh, for my next video and it occurred to me that I could talk about my creative process. So what do I do to come up with new ideas for videos? And because of quarantine, a lot of us are stuck in home. So we can really go out. So I figured why not talk about shooting videos at home and how you can make better videos while you can't leave. So tip number one is pay attention to your routine. So a lot of the times because we are so bored, stuck at home, we forget that we can shoot about pretty much anything. So for example, this past week I made a TikTok. If you don't have my, if you don't follow me on TikTok, it's Luca on the go with two C's. So I made a TikTok of me paying a bill. You can make you can make a story behind you pouring a cup of coffee. You just have to be aware that every video needs to have a story behind it. So be creative, observe the little things that you do and brainstorm new ideas and I'm pretty sure you'll come up with something really fast. Tip number two is make a script. Guys, I cannot stress enough how important it is to have a script of your story because it will create a line that will allow you to better visualize your story but also you can make a script of the shots. This will help you have a better notion of the entire video and it will make the process of creating the video and shooting much faster. Tip number three is clean up the area you are going to be shooting at. I should probably take this advice myself. As you can see, I have a bunch of stuff on my background. You don't want a lot of things distracting the viewer. You want the focus to be on you. So this shot will probably look a lot better if I didn't have all this stuff laying on the background but it's just something to think about you don't want a bottle of water showing up in the frame you want the viewer to focus on yourself for example i am talking and this bottle is in the frame wouldn't it look much better if it wasn't now it looks much better there's nothing in front of me and you can focus your attention 100 percent tip number four is lighting Lighting is probably one of the things that are most overlooked for content creators. A video with a poor lighting is difficult to watch, it's hard to catch the viewer's attention. So, and you don't have to buy a lot of expensive lighting equipment, you just need natural light. For example, I have a window behind the camera which is lighting my face up. If I made this shot on the other the other way around the phone my camera would be against the window and then you wouldn't see my face my face would be dark or if you see my face the window would be completely bright and white so you wouldn't be able to focus on me either so lighting is very important there there is a lot of equipment like those ring lights that you can buy online they're very cheap so you want to put the light behind your camera so that it's lighting your face up. You don't want to put it against the camera if it's too strong because like I said, your face will get dark. So this is when I'm shooting with the light in my favor, which is when the window is behind the camera. Now I'm going to show you what it would look like if I was shooting against the window you will see that my face will look a lot darker. So this is me shooting against the window. As you can see, the background is too bright. You have you have a hard time focusing on me. And if I focus on the background, you will see that you can see the background fine. But you won't be able to see my face. So that's not ideal either. And this is me shooting without the natural light. Just my blinders are down and I'm just using my regular light you can see that it's not the ideal condition tip number five 
think about the platform you're gonna be posting that video on a lot of people forget about that but it's and it goes back to the script it's, it's important to plan out the shot and why are you shooting that what which what are you gonna do with that shot so if you're gonna post it on Instagram or on TikTok, you should probably film vertically that is 16 by 9 if you're gonna make an Instagram post you can film it in 4 by 3 if you're gonna use it for YouTube you should film it horizontally 16 by 9 because if you film it if you record it on 16 by 9 horizontally and then you decide to make an Instagram stories an Instagram reels or a TikTok you will have to zoom into the image and then it will lose quality finally the last tip tip number six is capture different angles of the same action so you want to make your video look dynamic you want to catch the viewers attention so you should probably show different angles of the same action for example if I want to capture an image of me opening the fridge I can put the camera on a tripod and capture you know the standard angle of me going to the fridge and opening it but if I want to be creative and if I want to take my video to the next level you can put for example if you have a GoPro you can put it inside the fridge and then it will capture you from the front opening the fridge and the same thing with different actions for example if you're getting the remote to turn on the TV you can capture you getting the remote and pointing it to the TV or you and you can also capture a closer shot of your fingers pressing the power button on the remote this will all make your video look better and more easy to watch to the viewer because it's more dynamic it's not the same action this the whole time that's it for today guys a quick wrap up of the tips first of all observe your routine second make a script third clean up the area you're gonna be shooting at fourth pay attention to the lighting five think about the platform you're going to be posting that content on and six capture different angles of the same action so if you like this video make sure to subscribe um, activate the notifications leave a thumbs up it helps me a lot if you're interested about more travel content photography videography consider following me on TikTok and Instagram I post more frequently there and I will post videos like this or travel vlogs on YouTube every week every Friday so make sure to stay tuned and I see you on the next one